Chronicles chapter 22, David Hart was set on one final mission, to build a house where the, for the Lord, a temple where his name would dwell forever. Prophet Nathan, the Lord says, you will not build the temple. You have shed much blood, but your son Solomon will build it. He will be a man of peace. Though David could not build the temple, he would make sure Solomon had everything he needed. The future of Israel's worship would rest in his son's hands. David began gathering supplies, stone for the foundation, cedar from Lebanon, iron from the doors, bronze for the fittings. He wanted Solomon to have all that he needed to fill, fulfill God's plan. David, my son, the Lord has chosen you to build the house. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Follow his commands and you will prosper in all that you do. David, now the leaders of Israel help my son build the house for the Lord, the land of the peace, and the Lord has given us rest. This is the time to honor his name. So with the weight of leadership upon him, Solomon prepared steps into his calling, but he would do so by the foundations laid by David, his father, whose heart longed for God's glory. David's legacy wasn't just his victories, but in preparation he made for the next generation, a house for the Lord where Israel would worship for generations to come. Through wisdom and love, David passed the torch to Solomon, reminding us that true leadership looks beyond today and prepares for what's to come. You have a blessed, wonderful day. One day at a time, we'll get through the entire book of the Bible. Read your word, get closer to God.